In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an app and subscribe to an API. Let's begin by clicking on the large plus sign in the menu bar, then selecting Add New App. Next, I need to fill out some information about my app. I'm going to call it Customer Account App, give it a description, provides account customer account information. I'll give it a version 1.0. I can add a version description. I'm just going to say first version. I can optionally upload an image. I'm going to upload an image. I have a little piggy bank image. Let's recenter that. Click save. Next tags. Tags are important because if you have several different apps that you're managing. For example, if you're a large enterprise and you're doing API management internally, you're going to have several different apps subscribed to several different APIs. You need a way to categorize and find them. So I'm going to put customer, account, and some other tags if you'd like. Next, you're going to select the visibility. Who do you want to see that this app exists? Is it going to be public and open to everyone? Is it going to be private? or are you going to have just registered users be able to see that? Finally, you can add a URL to the app's website where it might contain more information about the application, maybe it's pricing information. Now let's click Finish. Now we've created our customer account app. And this page provides us information about our app. We can see our app ID, we can show keys, I can regenerate my shared secret, I can click to view it. If I'm subscribing to an app that requires the exchange of certificates, I can manage my certificates here. I can easily upload the certificates, which is a really nice handy feature. You don't have to email certificates around anymore. You can upload them and manage them here. Um, the other thing, I can manage my OAuth profile. And so all the things about the app I can see here. Now let's go subscribe to our API. Let's click on the API's icon, find our API, which is the account data API. We can see the account data information. We can inspect the documentation. And let's click Access. This brings up a wizard that helps guide us through the subscription process. The first thing I'm going to do is select the app. If I had more than one app, they would be listed here and I could choose which app I would like to subscribe to this API with. I'm going to choose the customer account app and I'm going to choose the version 1.0 of that app. I'll click on the add button, select next. Next I'm going to select which endpoint I would like to subscribe to either the sandbox endpoint or the live endpoint. I'm going to select the sandbox endpoint. Finally, I'm going to accept the terms of use. I can read the terms of use. Click accept. Click OK. And save the, save the subscription. Now you can see I have successfully subscribed to the account data API. We have an active green sandbox endpoint ready for us. When I'm ready to go to a live production endpoint, I can request access. Let's test out our access. Click on account data. We're going to use the Swagger documentation with the embedded test client. Let's take a look at get accounts. You can see the invoke is grayed out. This is because we haven't enabled our security yet. So let's click on the security button. We're going to select which endpoint we have subscribed to, which is the sandbox endpoint. We're also going to select which app we're going to test with. We're going to use the customer account app that we just created and click save. Now when we come back down here to the get accounts, Resource, we're going to see that the invoke is enabled and we can invoke it. Now we have successfully invoked the API and got a response. And 
that is how you create an app and subscribe to the API.